Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. So a lot of you guys are uh, new to my channel. Um, New-ish meaning like uh, this off season you found me. If that's the case, welcome. I'm really happy that you guys are here. Um, I'm going to be doing a in the bag video for y'all. I know that everyone kind of wants to know what I'm throwing for 2021. Um, I'm waiting for some things to get back in stock so that I can put more of them in my bag. Um, so that is one thing that I will talk about when I get to those discs as well. Um, also, I only throw Trilogy stuff because I'm sponsored by Dynamic Discs. Uh, the code MOLT221 uh, should work for you guys through the month of February if you want a discount at checkout. Um, I appreciate everybody that's been using that so far. Um, so yeah, let's just go ahead and jump into it. Uh, I do have a Zuka cart. It doesn't have the thing on it right now, um, but that is what I've got here. I know you guys don't really care about the cart. I did post a video on my cart if y'all want to watch that. Um, that's on the channel as well, but <clears throat> let's go ahead jump in here. So biggest thing that has changed that I haven't even told you guys about yet. New putting putters. New putting putters. Uh, I've been using the guard for a while, <clears throat> and as I've like adjusted my putting stroke, it started feeling a little bit too deep for me, um, but I did still I did still like the like release ability of a deeper putter, um, and so I switched to one that felt a little less deep, um, and it's just been feeling really good uh, to me. And that is the Keystone. So um, I it had some other stuff on it. I just took it off, so it just says Keystone. Um, I've really really been liking this putter um it's a negative one one uh so depending on how you release it it'll pretty much hold that and i've really enjoyed that so far so this is what i'm going to be putting with um i've been practicing a lot in the backyard uh, a lot of you guys asked about my tournament recently um if i had made all my if i had made and, and i know you can always say if statements but if i had made all of my putts that hit the cage so every time I hit the cage and then the band, um, I think I would have I would have at least got second and maybe have tied for first. Um, so like my putting has got to change. It, it's it's got to freaking change. I got to get more confident in it or something. Um, so the Keystone got two of these in here uh, just to switch between as I'm up there. Um, really really enjoying this disc so far. Uh, super fly it flies super straight now in the wind obviously I would probably use I don't know uh, something else but I like it and generally I'm not playing in places where the wind is too much and that's just something you're gonna have to learn anyways um, straight shot putter shot the pure um, the pure uh, I really really like this for it can, if you release it kind of on a hyzer it'll go up to flat if you release on an Anheuser, it's going to hold it pretty much. Um, but I really, really like the Pure. Uh, it's been a great throwing putter for me. I might get it in a better plastic as well just to um, see, get it in that opto plastic and see what it's like. Um, but yeah, so throwing putter right there. The Ruby, guys, I'm telling you. I know that a lot of people are like, that's a beginner disc. Dude, there's nothing wrong with throwing beginner discs. Okay, there's nothing wrong with throwing discs um, that are negative three one. You can do things with it. The whole goal of disc golf is to make sick shots. And if you have a disc that can perform that better, if you have a beginner disc that can perform a certain shot better than a more advanced disc, whatever, then throw the freaking beginner disc, the ruby. This thing is like like if I need to scramble out of the woods on a on a backhand, this thing is nasty. I absolutely love the ruby. I love the way that it flies out. It's it's it, I love this thing. I absolutely love the ruby. Such a fun disc. Um, and then you guys will have already seen my uh, video recently on the Caltrop. This is I'm working this into being uh, my sidearm disc, my sidearm approach disc. I really really like it. I've thrown it a couple times backhand. Um, but I don't know. It just feels better sidearm. So like this is there's nothing wrong with not throwing a disc sidearm and backhand. So this is gonna be my sidearm approach shot. Um, helps me scramble through woods, all that kind of stuff. Love it. So those are the putters that I'm bagging currently. Um, not gonna change that except for if I get another sort of plastic, um, maybe for the pure. All right. So 
now it's time for mid ranges. Uh, first of all, the Royal Trust, which you guys can't even get your hands on yet. Um, I love this disc. Um, the plastic feels good. It goes straight for a long time and then dives down to the left. Um, I can really trust it. Like I, I leaned on this in uh, that tournament that I had recently. And it helped me get a lot of birdie looks. It helped me get a lot of birdies. Um, and it's just it's just a solid disc. The Royal Trust. Whenever you guys can grab this thing, man, freaking freaking grab it. Like the profile on it, everything is just fire. Absolutely love that disc. Um, sidearm approach shot. Uh, sidearm flex approach. You guys have seen me throw a lot. The Justice. I love the Justice. Um, really, really solid disc. Absolutely love how this thing feels. If you guys have been following me for a while, you know that I don't, I, 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 I used to never sidearm mid ranges because it felt weird to me. Um, I just didn't like it, but sidearming this, uh, has just been, it's been, it's been, it's been really, really good. I got this after the clash, uh, last year. Um, and I just love it. And it auto, it also works really well for backhand. Um, but more so, that's what I have this one for. Some of you guys may not have seen the die on this one. Uh, super, super sick. Let me actually turn the light down so that you guys can see this uh, a little bit more. You can see the yellow on it right there. Um, kind of glowy. There's a little mud on it from when I threw today. I haven't washed them yet. Uh, but this Justice is... Um, more overstable but feels real like man like this this grip right here just oh, i'm i'm learning guys and and i'm loving it the justice the justice the justice really really good um <clears throat> this emac truth i did a i did a little i did i did a little something on it did a little something on it i need to go over it again make that purple a little bit darker but i like it it's got that metal flake in it i um i when i first got this i didn't throw it that much um I don't know why. I just didn't throw it that much. Uh, I think that it might have been because I was excited and I was just buying a whole bunch of discs and I kind of forgot about this. The Emac Truth is freaking fire. Um, this sidearm approaches with this at a little more distance um, slash needing a little bit more Anheuser. Uh, even though this is a 0-2, this will hold for me like so well. Um, it's a straight backhand shot. Uh, it can go a little bit to the right as well. Um, Emac Truth, just so good. I know that the disc golf bras love the Emac Truth, uh, but this thing is this thing is I, I I put this back in my bag, and I'm so incredibly happy that I did because this thing is fire. Um, and then just another straight backhand disc, the Fuse. Um, it's it's kind of it's actually pretty domey. Uh, I guess the middle up, maybe it isn't, maybe it isn't domey, but it feels a little like the, I don't know, it, it, it's just, it's not, it's not flat, but it's not like pop top or whatever, uh, but the fuse, I really, really like it, flies super straight, um, once it gets beat in, like I've hit this with uh, maybe 20 trees with it, and it already kind of turns a little bit too far to the right, um, so I've been throwing the Emac trees a little bit more, but this is still staying in my bag just because it's a solid uh, straight flying disc that I'm still kind of editing if you will uh, and figuring out what shots i use it for so uh yeah those are my mids all right now back on to uh the rest of the discs i'm kind of cycling through these right now um okay i think that yeah that's there that's there that's there that might go there and then those two okay so um fairway drivers fairway drivers fairway drivers fairway drivers uh, the two discs that I have, I, I only sidearm these two. You guys know what I'm talking about when there are certain discs that you only sidearm or only backhand. Um, my two felons, my two molt felons, a fan sent this one to me. Um, again, too bright with that light for you guys to fully see the stamp on that. Um, super dope. A fan sent this to me. Um, I'm not really doing P.O. Box stuff right now, obviously, with COVID, even though like I don't, I don't even freaking know. I could sanitize a disc, <laughs> um, but I just don't have one. I just don't have one. I've moved since then. Um, but this, this has like turned into, this is more of like my driving felon. Like I, I tee off with this one. 
Um, and then this one is a little more beat in, so I can be more touchy with it. But oh, this this is my baby. This is my baby. Uh, I freaking love this thing. Um, so good. The felon is nasty. Um, and honestly, I want to get. I might get one of the Eric Oakley. Um, chameleon opto x whatever um just to have an even more overstable uh sidearm of these so i might end up bagging three of these um because i have two discs in here that i'll probably end up replacing slash editing throughout the season with other molds that i currently have so i might bag another felon um you guys know how much i love the diamond um this is my turnover disc this is my uh get out of the woods on a weird freaking hyzer to whatever like that's why i like these beginner discs because if you throw a beginner disc uh the way that it's not designed to be thrown you can make it do crazy stuff and the lines that you can come up with a diamond especially a lightweight diamond like this are just super fun um so I, this is more of a utility disc for me rarely a, a drive off the tee um more of like i'm in the woods i need to get out or just a long Anheuser shot, then I'll pop this out. Um, absolutely love the diamond. Might get a heavier one just to see what it's like because I just love the disc. Um, next, I've got uh, Sapphire, which is kind of my straight driver. Um, goes super, super straight for me if I release it flat. Um, can do a good little flex on it. I still think the numbers on this are off. Negative uh, 2, 1.5. I, I don't think that that's correct. Um, this is a pretty straight and then end stable disc, at least for me. Um, you guys can let me know how y'all feel. But um, So I got one of those. And then I also have this one that I dyed um, when I was kind of still learning. Uh, it looks it looks dope, but like it's just not not as bright. Like if I use this during the fall, I'm gonna lose it in 30 seconds. Um, so I have two sapphires in the bag. I like this one a little bit better. This clear plastic um, just feels good. This is from the hand eye subscription box. Um, yeah, the sapphire. If you guys haven't thrown a sapphire, uh, freaking grab one. Uh, they feel really really good. I can do some pretty sick uh, hyzer release. To flip up, fade left, and then come back right shots uh, with these, with the sidearm. Um, really, really good. Absolutely love it. Uh, I just recently threw the Maverick back in my bag. And one of those reasons is because my stag, uh, I can't rely on it as much. Um, because I'm, I feel like I'm flipping it just a little bit too much lately. Um, so I threw two Mavericks in here. Here's another one that I dyed. Kind of looks like a... Uh, like a, uh, not a jawbreaker, but uh, I don't know, some sort of piece of candy. So I've got two Mavericks in here. Now, these are discs that I will end up replacing, excuse me, um, with some other ones. I throw them, but for a while, the Maverick was like my go-to hyzer flip shot. Um, still love the disc, um, but... Yeah, it just isn't. I don't know. I, I I don't. I just don't use it as much as I did before, um, because I have one of my favorite discs that you guys already know, the Stag. I actually do. I actually dyed a black line around it. Kind of looks like an MVP disc. Um, these have been out of stock for way too freaking long, and I am buying more of them when it comes back into stock. And I might even try and get my own custom Stag stamp and sell just Stags to you guys. Um, if y'all want them, like have them on the site to where you can get a stag, like a molt stag. I'm not, I don't want to tell you guys the stamp because it's sick, but the stag, man, this thing, when it's beat in, these numbers are off too. So this says eight, six, zero, three. So this is the old, the old one. Now it says eight, six, negative one, two. That sounds a little more like it, especially with how broken in this is. Um, so I want to get the new one. I want to get the, um, I don't know what is there. I don't know what West side's uh is a vip <clears throat> yeah i want to get uh other plastics of the stag um definitely bag another one of these and end up replacing one of the mavericks because the stag just feels so good uh to me i i i absolutely love this disc um and then you guys know the prototype evader that i died this thing is still freaking fire man this thing turned out so beautiful like this is nasty um absolutely love it uh, this thing, um, it's just a very specific sidearm shot for me, uh, flip up flat, 
if, if I if I release it on a little bit of a hyzer, it'll flip up flat, and then it goes straight, and then it dives down, um, which <clears throat> a lot of times they won't do. They'll skip. So if you need that, but if you need it to die and end where it lands, um, this has been really really good at doing that. All right, now on to distance drivers. Um, my go-to distance driver, another one that I want to get a new one of, the World. Um, the World and the Stag are my only two West Side disc discs that I throw, um, and I love the World. This thing is uh, it's fourteen four one four, and I can get it to turn over now because it's kind of beat in. Uh, but if I throw it on a hyzer, it'll hold the. Th it doesn't like. F it doesn't really flip up unless I throw it like barely on a hyzer, and then it'll flip up and kind of do this thing. Um, but otherwise, it doesn't do too much. Don't really side on this too much. I have just depends on what I'm feeling. Um, World definitely my go-to distance driver. Now this was a kind of failed attempt at a die on this uh kind of looks marble uh and it, the coloring didn't get down here still looks super dope when it flies though because it's off center um the raider i threw this today when i was out playing with yuli and <clears throat> i released it flat and it like this one's been beat in enough it's an is a negative 0.53 um so kind of like the natural flight of the stag almost that negative one two um and it turned over just a little bit for me flew super straight um, and then I also have this, um, I guess it's, op I don't, wh what is it? Whatever this plastic is, it's not opto. Um, I'm forgetting it right now. Um, this other one from the clash, really, really, really good. This one's obviously more overstable. Um, so I might get another Raider in this mold, uh, a white one and dye it. Um, because my buddy Brendan actually, Hooked me up with some uh, with some stickers for me to put on discs and everything. So super stoked to put those on and die over top. Um, Raiders, absolutely love this disc. I want to start side arming it more, but the rim feels a little bit too deep for a side arm for me. Uh, like where where it hits right here doesn't really feel too comfortable. Um, so this is generally just a backhand disc. I never really throw these. Uh, never really throw these side arms. Sometimes I do. It just depends on if I want a, a solid flex line or whatever. Um, this disc might be leaving my bag soon, but I've been throwing it for a while. It's a Sampo, um, which is a 10502. Um, it turns over. I just haven't been throwing it as much lately, so I kind of lost sight of what it does. Um, but if it, this is one of my favorite feeling discs um, that's in my bag. I just, I just like how it feels. A Sampo. Um, uh, sidearm, uh, long Anheuser shots. It'll do for me. Um, which I love and then backhand it, it'll rip too obviously with that 10 speed and everything um, This the what was this captain the captain? Uh, some of you guys will have seen this in my video where I was talking about the cow drop The sidearm that I threw with this thing was disgusting So I want to buy a couple more of these and go out to the field and practice with them because I feel like I can do some nasty just like easy sidearms like I threw this thing so simple like 350 like no problem whatsoever uh, effortless kind of kind of flipped up and went a little left and then right like really really fun for wood golf um, I don't think I'll throw it really backhand um, I've, I've really been working on my sidearm lately and I feel like it's been uh, getting a lot better since I started using two fingers and just been working on it uh, a little bit more uh, so the captain there let's freaking go and then last ballista pro um, I used to think I would always mix up the stiletto and the Ballista Pro. And when I saw, like, Ballista Pro, it sounds like a beefy, like, this thing's gonna be crazy. Um, but you can turn, you can kind of flex this out, um, and it'll 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 hold for you depending on how hard you throw it. Um, but I really like this thing for, uh, uh, like, sidearm flex shots and everything. Still kind of learning it. Just a, a beautiful Chameleon Opto disc. Uh, absolutely love it. Um, and, uh, yeah. That's it for all of the discs. I could probably fit one more in my bag uh, with the slot that I have, but might end up switching out the Maverick um, for another stag and maybe another felon, um, something along those lines. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of where I'm at with my bag this year. Hope that you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you guys bag any of these discs currently um, and if you throw them for the same sort of shots that I do. So yeah. Thank you so much for everything. Big shout out to my sponsor, Dynamic Discs, again. Absolutely love working with those guys. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. 
If you did, make sure you leave a like down below. Now I'll see you on the next one. Peace out, guys.